Okay, let's have a look at an example that helps tie all of these ideas together and where we are given a lot of design requirements and we need to convert those to catalog data so we can choose an appropriate bearing from the catalog. Let's have a look at example 11-3 from your textbook. And here we are told we're dealing with a ball bearing. So recall that this means the parameter A is equal to 3. This parameter helps us in relating force and life. Now we're told that we have a design load of 413 pounds force, an application factor of 1.2, and this application factor that indicates that it's a relatively light duty or smooth application. We shouldn't expect many impacts with an application factor like that. We're told that operating speed is 300 revolutions per minute, and at that speed, the design life is 30,000 hours. Now, as far as reliability, we want a fairly high reliability of 99%. This is much larger than 90% that we find in the catalog data. So, because of that, we can expect a very large increase in the load rating. We are also told what the Weibull parameters are. In this case, x0 is equal to 0 0.02. Now, remember what x0 corresponds to. This is the minimum guaranteed non-dimensional life. So that means that this non-dimensional non -dimensional life, we should not have any bearing failures at all. So we could actually convert this to uh, revolutions and find out what that corresponds to. So remember x0, that's equal to life divided by L10. So therefore L is going to be equal to x0 times L10, or 0 0.02 times 10 to the sixth, or 2% of a million. So that gives us an idea of what that life is, and that's really a, a very small value. The other Weibull parameters include the shape parameter, which is 1.483, and then we're also given this value theta minus x naught, and that's 4.439. We're not told what theta is, but we can solve that pretty easily since we know what x0 is. So to use the formula we went through before, we need to know what the design non-dimensional life is. We're not told what that is. We know what the speed is and the design life in hours. So we need to convert that to the non-dimensional design life. So that's going to be equal to L sub d divided by L10 but L sub D, that's equal to 60 times the design life in hours times the speed, all divided by L10. And if we plug all of those values in, we get 540. Now, that's a big number. That means we need a life that's 540 times larger than the L10 value. And that combined with us needing a 99% reliability value, that means we're going to need a very large C10 value. So let's actually go through, plug in the numbers, and see what the C10 value ends up being. So application factor is 1.2. The design load is 413 pounds. The non-dimensional life is 540. Weibull parameter down here, 0 0.02 plus 4.439 times the probability of failure, which is 1 minus 0 0.99, all to the power of 1, divided by 1 1.483, and then that entire quantity raised to the power of 1 third. We calculate that out, and we find that the load rating is 6,696 pounds. That's pretty big. That is much larger than the design load of 413 pounds. But again, we can expect this very large value because of the high reliability value and the very high 
non-dimensional life.